we have arrived at Marburger Farm. It is two o'clock in the afternoon, so uh, you're gonna have to forgive any um, scraggly hairs, any situations, cause you know, we've been out. We've been out. We've been out shopping. We've experienced things. Yes. And Tippy has got a lot of attention by passersby. Yeah. And he's tolerated it. He's dealt with it. <laughs> He's dealt with but it. I'm excited to get in and see the goods. We know that there's gonna be high prices, but yeah, we're mentally prepared. Yeah, it was crazy this morning as we drove by. Everybody was here, right? I mean, everybody was. Everybody packed. was. This was the place to be. This, this was the place to be this morning, and so we didn't pay the forty dollar entrance fee. So we're here in the afternoon. And we paid 15. And we paid 15. So I'm ready. I'm ready to get in there. Are you? I'm ready. Tippy's ready. Let's go, Tippy. We're going to see some overpriced people. Overpriced people. I mean, overpriced prices. Sorry. We might see some overpriced we people. We might see some overpriced people. Actually. We might. All right. Let's do this. Yeehaw. All right. So from where we parked, the first tent I'm entering here at Marburger is Tent F. And I really like the setup here on the right definitely french country look at the awesome wooden pinocchio um that is speaking to me he is 1900 dollars. this wooden hanging pinocchio all right i am stepping in a little bit it's a little bit tight Ooh, look at this brass table marble top it has casters. Oh, there's a beautiful tapestry over there on the wall of children playing some sort of stick game. Let's see. Hi. Good. So wait, this is not a tapestry. This is a mural on canvas. It is, and that was it was a model for a tapestry because what they would do is they would actually paint those a model for a tapestry. So this is what they would do before they would weave a scene. They would do an actual mural painting. What that depicts is in the Netherlands, the sport started that's called golf. It's spelled with a C, then with a K, and it's the precursor to golf. Oh and my women gosh. Played golf. Women played golf. Oh, wow. Fascinating. Uh, another iron planter. I keep looking at them. I can't take them home. Why do I keep looking at them? Uh, what does that say? $1,600? Wow, this is $1,600. Holy smokes. A really pretty wooden settee. That is just precious. That is $1,300. Great, great carved details. Really sweet, petite size. That could go in anyone's small foyer. And then look at this, very rustic. Christy and I were just looking at a rustic um, cabinet. And oh, where were we? Excess two, I think really old hand painted terracotta plates a lot of french country charm here so far let's see what's across the way oh, this is interesting so a very brightly painted iron um urn jardinier but that's an interesting idea if you had one and you wanted to brighten it up. There's an example of painting it a very bright green. So I'm just standing right at the front of this booth and wanted to show you the impact of these humongous wings. Uh, and you can see from that gentleman walking by the scale, uh, just uh, a very impactful, dramatic uh, item you can put on your wall. Again, if you have the room. Ooh, look at the weather vane. 
This one is gorgeous. Beautiful verdigris patina on it. And it is only $9.50. I think that's a great price. Great price for him. Yes. So we're diving into this booth because I see a Santos. Uh, and we are going to approach. Um, this is six thousand five hundred dollars look at it oh oh i i would love to find one of these but i can't justify that price at all so just gonna admire it so here we have a table with French primitive items for your kitchen. Uh, really attractive. The aged wood has a lot of allure, warmth, um, history. Look at this bowl. This small one is 225. This big one is 285 for that one. Look at these asparagus plates. I wonder if there is a set or if they're individual. 125 for the asparagus majolica plate. Beautiful color. Gorgeous turquoise. That's beautiful too. Look at that. 395. These are all carved wood. So you have to appreciate. These aren't those resin pieces that you might have seen uh, in the 90s. Uh, at you know your local home goods Ross store these are antique carved pieces of wood and um, they're wonderful they have a great great character uh, I, I do really love these oh wow look at those mirrors look at the antiqued mirror look at how crusty and old this wood is it's it's rotting literally but it's it still has its own beauty the beauty of its decay really look at this i'm gonna get in deep i don't see a price but i bet it's high <laughs> i bet it's a lot so I don't know if you guys remember on a very early Brocott and Bergamot when I was talking about grottos, I segued into Victorian shell art and was sharing all of the beautiful pieces that the ladies would make uh, during that time. And here are some real in-person examples. This is the first time I've ever seen one in person. You can see the hand mirror the uh, treasure box and the beautiful frames. I will say I am, I think I'm most enchanted by the frames, but in the back, I'm pretty sure that is an example of one of the candy boxes uh, that uh, we were so surprised uh, that they made, but they would put little pieces of candy uh, in these boxes. And a lot of them were gifted to their sweethearts uh, when they would uh, maybe go out to sea uh, but just just gorgeous this one is really really grabbing my attention uh, has a lot of uh, purple uh, in this one so yeah really cool thing to see really excited to be able to share these with you this bird cage is huge it's really big I, it's hard to get an idea I think sometimes through the camera, but here's my hand. Here's the cute little French doors with wavy glass. It's humongous. Look at the cupola up at the top. All right, we have entered a booth that has an incredible collection of antique vintage bathing suits all framed look at this across the entire walls so we've got some lifeguard suits uh the stripes all the red white and blue 
uh, it just makes me think of like a very Tommy Hilfiger type of a, a vibe for decor. And it looks like there's little flags and pennants up here at the top. Okay, I'm not sure what this uh, originally um, was intended for, but look how they are using it on a table as a round bookcase. Uh, very cute. There's another one over here on this side of the table and I'm really loving it. I found an absolutely adorable hutch. It is smaller, smaller in height. And look at this little ledge here. So they have about, let's see, one, two, three, four, they have five plates stacked three in a row. So it's a really nice plate rack. You could use the top for any kind of display you wanted to, but uh, I'm, I'm in love with this piece of furniture. Absolutely in love with it. I would put this in my kitchen in a heartbeat. Oh, hello, oyster plate. Okay, so this is 2250. They're calling it a Darby buffet from France, 1880. Look at that beautiful old marble. Mm, mm, mm. I love this. Look at these cabinets with a little Victorian display. You have the hat box, the top hat, and the parasol. Oh, those are so great. And we've got some butterflies. Looks like a nice older taxidermy uh, display. $1.95 for this. Mm, that's really nice as well. Oh, and we have a bunch of the old English toothpaste pots, the little toiletry. This is a lid. I'm guessing that's its bottom. Let's see. $139 for the boots. Mm, not sure about that. I really love these beautiful blue books though. The Family Compact. Those are in nice shape. Wow, what a beautiful display. Colors. I'm guessing these are little pastels. Yes, these are pastels. And that says 95 for the, I'm guessing, uh, maybe 1920s, 1930s box of pastels. Oh, an old lotto box. Yeah, there's some cards in the lotto box. I just love all of these um, covers all put together. It looks so darn good. They have a Fanny Farmer candy mold. It's $300, but look, you get the old box with it. That's awesome. And then right here, there is a old Countess Cakes display, a little three-tiered shelf. It's tin litho, uh, but I think that would be so perfect if you had uh, salt and pepper shakers, uh, maybe um, a cookie cutter, a little collection. Um, anything like that would be really cute on these. All right. This booth is full of awesome, awesome things. We have the little Chatelaine coin purses here. They're around 120 each. Look at this beautiful display with the doll and all her little uh, accoutrement. There's like some sewing things, that sweet little um, sampler, ABC sampler. Uh, really, really darling. And then up here, some really sweet children's furniture. Look at these little blue leather shoes. 
Oh my goodness, look at the blue shoes. Oh, they're 95. One of them's missing a little buckle, but so precious. Oh, this stool is cute that they're sitting on. How cute, this little stool. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, before I get into the haul of the rest of the items I brought back from my trip, I do have to confess that that last clip of the Victorian singing bird automaton wasn't actually at Marburger Farm. It was in a venue called Cole's Antiques. We had such a great time at Round Top. We shopped so many venues up and down Highway 237 but I really wanted to showcase Marburger Farm in the video today because it really had so many well curated booths with beautiful items that I wanted to share. So I hope you enjoyed watching the Marburger Farm footage. So many great things, right? I mean, we were expecting the high prices. We already knew that going in, uh, but you also need to think about how many of these vendors travel to Europe? They go to Europe several times a year. They have to source these items. They have to ship it back in a crate. And then they have to pay the booth fees and uh, all of the work that goes into it. So I, I do understand how the prices kind of get uh, higher and higher and a little bit inflated at times, but how, fun to be able to wander around and look at all of it uh, instead of taking a trip to England and Germany and France and Italy. I got to travel to one location and see an incredible variety of historical, beautiful antiques. I mean, it was a great experience. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me now. Let's look at the items that I brought home. So I bet you are wondering if I brought anything home from Marburger Farm, and the answer is yes. Uh, first thing I want to show you is I picked up this Italian Silver X Voto. If you don't know what an X Voto is, uh, these were given in prayer. They were usually in response to asking for grace or healing of a family member who was sick. So these come in all different uh, shapes. You have the traditional sacred heart. Uh, I've seen eyes, legs, uh, torsos. So if there was healing that happened, these would be purchased and left to the saint that they prayed to. So this would have been uh, in relation to someone who maybe had an issue with somewhere in their head. And uh, there was uh, healing and they got better. And so this would have been tied to the area around the saint where the prayer had been offered up. And I chose this one because I already have another X-Photo head in my collection. 
It's a little bit smaller. Uh, I will actually show you the two of them together so you can see why I chose this larger one. I thought that it would be great if I eventually frame the two of them together. Uh, for now, I will probably hang it because the other one I have is hanging. But I thought, yep, I think I'm going to maybe uh, collect some head X photos if they come along my way. So I loved this piece and this one is sterling and it was only $53, which is a great price because if I were to buy this online, it would probably be double that. So that was a great deal at Marburger Farm. Very happy to have uh, picked that piece up. And also, this is a little bit more of an indulgent gift to myself, but in that amazing booth with all of the uh, vintage bathing suits, I mean, such an incredible display. The amount of time it must have taken to collect all of those suits, really impressive. But also in that booth, uh, the gal had some trophies kind of sprinkled around. And this one caught my eye, of course, because of the Art Nouveau handles. Look at the swooping handles. It's a three-handled trophy cup. And it is for the Fanciers Club. It was given in 1908. And once I saw that this was from a bird competition, I thought it was meant to be because I had picked up the chicken and rooster trophy at Springfield just in the spring. So now I've got a bird trophy collecting tradition. This was $125. Uh, beautiful lines though. And I thought it was uh, a great little present, a little memory to bring back from my trip. And I just thought that because of the bird tie-in, it was meant to be and uh, I should go ahead and bring it home. All right, I did get one thrifty deal at Marburger Farm. I was able to pick up this beaded handbag. I wish it had the chain, but this was only $15. So that means I can go ahead and bring this to a live sale. I would like to bring this to one of the Christmas sales. I just need to find uh, the right goodies to pair with it and turn it into a really pretty Christmas display. With the red and green, I thought that it would be great. And with the price, I thought immediately that I was gonna be able to come up with a cute display idea for Christmas uh, using this as a base. So this should be coming very soon to a Christmas sale. So at one of the other venues in Round Top, I don't even remember which one it was, it was a smaller store in either downtown Warrenton or downtown Round Top, but I was able to pick up these little shoes for $15 each. So it was 30 for the pair. Uh, I thought they were darling. You know my thing with either metal or wood shoes. So these came home from that little shop I wish I could remember what it was called, but I don't. And then also at Kohl's Antiques, I did splurge again and pick up this beautiful Victorian napkin ring. She is gorgeous in her outfit and her fancy little hat. And I thought, well, when's the next time you're gonna see this beautiful little piece? I'm gonna say I paid about retail for her. She was $85. I love the figural Victorian napkin rings. This one is engraved on the very top. It says Hattie, and I, I love that. I think it just adds charm. So on our trip, we stayed at the Ant Street Inn in the nearby town of Brenham, and Brenham has a local antique store, and of course, Christy and I had to visit and I picked up some nice pieces of jewelry for myself. My favorite piece of jewelry I picked up there was this gorgeous amber pendant. Such a large size. It was $55, but I thought it was worth it. Um, just a gorgeous hunk of amber. And it's in this beautiful sterling setting. 
So uh, this I thought was a great deal at the $55 and that was a gift for myself. And on our way back to Houston from Round Top, we stopped at an estate sale and I picked up this beautiful Waterford Crystal perfume bottle. Gorgeous cuts, sterling top. It was $30. And I think that was a great price. This will go in my collection. Uh, definitely uh, a keeper for me. And then we also went back to the Spring Antique Mall. And I got more little treasures over there. Uh, some great things. So I have shared the little hat boxes before, but I picked up two more to add to my collection. This little red one is from the Mallory Company. And uh, this one I think has a little hat in there. Yep, has an adorable little hat. So these used to come with a gift card. So you'd have a fun little gift if you were giving someone a gift card for a hat store. And then the other one I got, the bottom is loose, but this is for the Champ hat store. And this one has this little hat inside. Now I already have a Dobbs green box and then another red hat box. So now I have four of these miniature hat boxes and I think I should do a little display for Christmas because I have red, green, and black and I think that'd be a nice little collection. Maybe I can do a fun photo for Instagram or something, but I'm happy to pick these up and these were $5 each, which is a smashing price. So to get these for five bucks each with hats inside, thumbs up for that. And then the best deal uh, that I found at the Spring Antique Mall were these wooden shoes. These are artist signed, handmade, wooden Victorian boots. Oh my gosh. And they have the artist's original tag. Uh, just blown away by these. The reason why was the price. So these were in a 75% off booth. So the tag was $50 and I took them home for $12.50. What a great deal for a pair of artisan made wooden Victorian boots. <laughs> so you can imagine, I was so tickled when I found these and the price made it even better. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it. I hope you enjoyed the videos of my trip to Round Top, Texas. And I hope you enjoyed shopping along and looking at all the beautiful things. Until I see you again in the next video, take care of yourselves, happy thrifting, and bye for now. Tippy, I think, is making a friend around the corner. Oh yeah, he's 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 really giving this uh, young dog. He's giving him the old one too. A, a little verbal verbal lashing. Poor little guy. He's just minding his own business, and Tippy is uh, ready to attack. What happened? Would you see? Would you see Tippy? Chihuahua. He has personal personal things against chihuahuas. Do you have a vendetta? You don't like chihuahuas, Tibby? He's like, somebody called him a chihuahua once. <laughs> <laughs> Only in Texas would they put a saddle on an alligator.